Welcome to the allotment gardener, mid-November and the sun's come out and opened the roof of the greenhouse. Incredible. We're mid-November now and the chores, albeit there are still plenty to do, are starting to thin out. We've decided that next year we're not going to be doing a weekly uh, film. We're going to film when necessary but try and film more things, film things that people want to see. So if you've got any ideas that you'd like to see us try out, put them on the YouTube video or put them on the website and we'll see what we can do. We're going to get on with the chores now. As, as always, the first one is gathering up more leaves for that leaf mould. Mold on the other floor. Another couple of paralyzing that we fall. Quite surprisingly, the council have left the water butt still running, the taps are still on, but it's not going to last forever, so every drop we can get we're trying to keep. I've filled up the watering can out of the wheelbarrow before we put the leaves in it. I'm going to use some of that with a bit of seaweed to water these lettuces that were put in under cloche previously. See the soil starting to dry out already, the rest of the soil you couldn't dig at the moment, but this is drying out because it's had that cloche on it, so I'm going to give them a good soaking. You must remember to do that the whole time you're using them, otherwise it'll just get too dry. You may remember we, in view that we were going to have that storm, tipped the old runner beans over. They finished growing for what we were going to pick to eat this year, but we wanted to leave them growing so that we could get the beans. I'm going to start harvesting some of them. They're not all ripe yet. I'm going to start harvesting some of them like these ones and get them in the greenhouse so it'll be a little bit warmer to protect them from the frost we're expecting. There we go. Five minutes picking. We must have 50 beans there. I think we grew 18 last year and had more than enough beans. So we will keep picking them once they're ready, but we'll probably have to give most of them away to the neighbours. Still crops to be had at this time of the year. As you can see, the Reuben sprouts are getting quite sizeable. Next couple of weeks, I think we'll be having some of those off. Obviously, we pick them from the bottom. Pick a few from each plant. The herb bed, which has been very successful this year, needs a bit of a tidy up. Once we've given it a tidy up, we'll be off to the garden centre to get some more manure so that we can give it a mulch, which will keep the weeds down and just keep the little bed a little bit warmer. These squashes have been in the greenhouse for a few weeks now. It's time to move them onto our garage because if we leave them here with the frost we're likely to lose them. It's lovely and warm in here at the moment but with that frost coming what we're going to do is pick the chilies that we can see. We'll leave the plants in here just in case there are any more that are growing but we'll take what we can home. At the end of the last video we tried to get these in just before the rain. This is the spring cabbages. They've been well healed in and watered. All we've got to do is put the netting back over the top of them. We'll also carry on clearing away all the yellow leaves from the bottom of the brassicas as we go. Same brassica bed, we've got some lovely little cabbages here. They're lovely and firm. Just want them to get a little bit bigger before we start harvesting them. Don't forget this time of year with all these leaves to make sure that you empty the guttering etc on your greenhouse otherwise you're not going to get that much needed water when it does rain. It's going to be in short supply when the taps are turned off, so make sure they're cleaned out. We're going to finish here with our weekly look at the overwintering broad beans which are moving on once again.